Boston Medical Products proudly manufactures many of the finest medical devices available on the market today for use in ENT surgery and airway management. Boston Medical Products was founded in 1980 by three otolaryngologists. They wanted to provide the resources and professional skills necessary to make available to physicians throughout the world a complete line of specialty products. Working closely with surgeons, other healthcare providers, and patients themselves, Boston Medical Products has grown and evolved into an internationally respected medical device company. We are dedicated to providing the finest quality, most advanced products, combining safety, effectiveness, and unsurpassed patient comfort for use in otology, rhinology, laryngology, and airway management. Boston Medical Products takes great pride in the manufacturing and quality assurance of each and every product we sell. All of our medical devices are constructed using the highest quality medical grade materials and manufactured under strict quality control procedures. Our knowledgeable and friendly customer service professionals answer technical questions and facilitate orders daily. Most products are shipped the same day they are ordered and delivered according to your specific needs. At Boston Medical Products, we are constantly improving our existing products and developing new devices. Our quest for innovations to improve surgical procedures or enhance patient comfort never ends. We value your input and welcome inquiries regarding new innovations and custom products. Please call us toll free at 800-433-BMPI. Outside the continental U.S. at 508-898-9300 or visit our website at www.bossmed.com. The Montgomery laryngeal stent is a molded silicone prosthesis designed to conform to the normal endolaryngeal surface. The laryngeal stent is indicated in the prevention and treatment of laryngeal stenosis when the glottic stenosis involves the midglottis, posterior glottis, superglottis, and subglottis, singularly or in combination. The Montgomery laryngeal stent is constructed of medical grade silicone material, which is firm enough to support the endolarynx postoperatively after laryngoplasty and is soft and flexible enough to ensure a conforming fit while minimizing injury to soft tissues. The silicone material produces little or no tissue reaction and allows reepithelialization of the endolaryngeal mucosa. The laryngeal stent may be utilized as a direct support for intralaryngeal mucosal or dermal grafts to denuded areas of the endolarynx. The Montgomery laryngeal stent is available in four sizes, child, small adult, medium adult, and large adult. Included with each stent are two silicone suture buttons used to support the stent externally. A direct laryngoscopy is performed on a 54-year-old man who has had 17 laser treatments and one open repair by way of a laryngo fissure for subglottic stenosis, resulting from prolonged intubation. The vocal cords are viewed laterally, and the subglottic region is completely stenosed, resembling another set of vocal cords. Bushies of increasing size are inserted, dilating the subglottic region to a size 26. Note the bubble of air. Marks on the anterior neck indicate the location of the hyoid bone and the thyroid and cricoid cartilages. Hatch marks are made. The vertical incision is made with sharp dissection. The anterior aspect of the thyroid cartilage is located using electrosurgery. The thyroid laminae are separated anteriorly with an electric saw, being careful not to injure the underlying soft tissues. The 
The thyroid laminae are separated anteriorly with single hooks, and the underlying soft tissues are dissected in the vertical midline. In so doing, a small opening appears just inferior to the anterior commissure. The laryngo fissure is completed. The location of the true cord, ventricle, and false cord on the right side is indicated. The thyroid lamina on the left is exposed with electrosurgery. A 3 nylon suture is passed through a silicone button. The skin, strap muscles, and thyroid lamina on the left side. The suture is then passed through the Montgomery laryngeal stent prior to its route through the cartilage, muscles, skin, and button on the opposite side. A heavy needle is necessary when passing through the thyroid lamina, for it is often calcified. The second nylon suture follows the route of the first. When making the second pass through the stent, care must be taken to avoid crossing the sutures.
The stent is placed in the proper position. The thyroid lamina is closed with 3O Dexon or Vicryl suture material. An anterior cartilage graft to widen the cricoid arch may be placed at this time. Several knots are placed over each button. The button must not exert pressure against the skin. If so, a scar will result. The skin incision has been repaired. A direct laryngoscopy is necessary to make certain the laryngeal stent is in proper position. The epiglottis flops posteriorly as the laryngoscope is removed. Six weeks later, the patient is again anesthetized by way of the tracheotomy in preparation for stent removal. Note that the button is not exerting pressure against the skin. The button is lifted and both sutures cut. The opposite button and the sutures are removed from the patient. A direct laryngoscopy is used to remove the stent. The loop on top of the stent is grasped with alligator forceps and the stent is removed along with a laryngoscope. A second laryngoscopy demonstrates a widely patent subglottis. For more information about this product, please contact Boston Medical Products at 1-800-433-BMPI. Outside the continental U.S. at 508-898-9300 or visit our website at www.bossmed.com.